Hello, and welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe DDD Tour Mode. We have three more worlds to go. I probably should have had the keychains I got from World 3 in the previous video, but I didn't think of that. And now... World 4. Wild World. I've already made enough jokes about that being Animal Crossing, but I know I don't need to do another one. Instead, I'll just reference myself doing about, about previously making jokes. Hmm. It's something you can do sometimes, I guess. Forget if anything is hiding in the grass around here. Well, there's a key, so the answer was yes. Alright. And the key door is probably elsewhere. Don't even care. You know, it occurs to me that even though you unlock the ability to play as King Gaiety, and you unlock an arena mode, I don't think you unlock the ability in this game to do the arena mode as King DVD, which is a shame, because you could do that in, in Return to Dreamland. I could be wrong. I'm still not entirely sure why that cuts. Steady. Thought so. Oh yeah, King DDD has his own goggles too, for when he is underwater. I forgot about that. You'd think he wouldn't need them, considering his penguin-like nature, but... Maybe they're just stylish. They are pretty cool looking. King DDD is a very fashion-conscious individual. Which may explain why he's one of the few Dreamland residents with clothes on. Maybe he's just really cold all the time. Also possible. I could stop running right into things. I just realized a way in which this is not like the meta nightmare modes, or whatever they're called, because in those, Meta Knight had a variety of abilities he could use by... Well, in the case of... Uh, in the case of Superstar Ultra, he could use a variety of abilities by poking the lower screen. No such thing here. Oh well, King DDD is good enough by himself. I don't know why that single enemy is there. Like, why wouldn't you destroy it before the boss finished spawning? That's a weird thing that happens if you hold up when you hit water, apparently. Good to know. Ah, another part where you have invincibility instead of a wheel. Naturally, Invincible King DDD cannot run on water. Yeah. So it's a little bit different, but... I guess you can't do that part down there. 
because of the blocks blocking the way, as blocks are known to do. I mean, you can break a few of the blocks, but you can't really get anything out of it, apparently. Not sure why they left some of them alone. I was hoping for a healing item. Oh well. I can probably make it to the exit in one piece. There we go. Oh, we're back to spookiness. Got it. There has to be a bit of spookiness every two worlds at least. I think that's how it works. I won't be su too surprised if I get my first DD death here. Um, oh yes. The concept of going over things. I see. I still like this music. Is it customary in Dreamland to do a backflip when you unlock something? Possibly. Not sure why. Traditions are weird sometimes. And that hammer hitbox is a little bit large. Come on. <laughs> well, that was an endeavor to not get hurt, but... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Ah yes, the rocketing. Shooting a missile at a switch to, to, like, operate it is probably a little bit excessive. But I'm pretty sure excessive force is one of King DD's favorite hobbies. Ah, man, I should have broken the thing. The wall. There was a breakable wall. If I remember correctly, there's stuff if I just go up here. Like magical floating ice cream. Which probably tastes better than regular ice cream. Due to its location in higher altitudes, it retains its cold temperature more easily than regular ice cream. And therefore, is better. I say this like I know anything about ice cream. It is a fact that I do not know anything about ice cream. Well, I probably know a few things. But if my life depended on knowledge about ice cream, I probably wouldn't... It probably wouldn't be enough. I mean, it's like a thing, it's cold, some people eat it for dessert, but I don't, because I don't like really cold things in my mouth. Shrug. Alright, here we've got the Egyptian Aztec Mayan Incan place. Whatever it is. It's got snakes. and sand treadmills. And the only thing back here is a big old DDD thingamajig. I wonder if those have an actual name. Maybe they're like tokens. That sounds like a good name for them. Tokens is a fun word. You can have token economies. 
Then you sound smart. Maybe. Uh. Yeah, you sound like you take you took a psychology or sociology bit. Course, class, lesson, college. Every time I break, I find those things, I wonder if that was a keychain or a sunstone originally. Because I, my memory is not, like, 100%. I do not, I do not have the photographic memory or whatever. I feel like that would be a cool thing to have. But it's one of those things where if you actually have it, it has a lot of downsides that you don't think about if you don't have it. Like... Remembering everything in your life in perfect, vivid detail could really take a toll on you, you know? I'm sure Kirby and King DDD do not have that problem. Because they usually focus on the present. I'm not sure how much memory capacity Kirby even has. He's a monstrosity and a child, so... Difficult to say, really. I don't think you can take a course in monstrosity psychology. Lucky Deluxe! What is so deluxe about you? Please explain. Oh wait, too late. It's too late for you to explain. Where's that treasure? Gotta get that treasure. Wasting all these seconds. 28 lives. I think that's more lives than I ever had as Kirby. In part because I saved and quit and turned the game off between worlds, but that's not the point. Or maybe that is more of the point than I think it is. Actually, I don't know how much that affects your lives count or not. In any case, I have certainly died less times as DVD thus far, given that it was it is currently zero times. I sort of like I couldn't escape that warp hole if I wanted to, but I guess I don't, so it's fine. If skipping ahead is DDD's destiny, who am I to disagree? Everybody's looking for something. I'm looking for that chest right now. Stupid Waddle Dee's in the way. Waddle Doo. Can you leave the platform, please? I guess I was supposed to eliminate you previous. Uh, this probably isn't worth all the time I'm spending. Twenty-nine. And what do we have in here? Just various tokens, I guess? Looks like it. I have 99 of them. And of course, you need 100 to get... Well, there you go. You need 100 to get a life. Now I have 9 of them and 30 lives. It must be kind of inconvenient in a place where currency turns into lives after you get 100 of it. To, like, actually, you know, purchase anything. Maybe they have some sort of equivalent of dollars in the Mushroom Kingdom that are worth 100 coins, but they don't just give you a life. I didn't realize that I hadn't used that. Okay. I don't think I can... 
I don't think I can break those and kill him the easy way this time. I can just kill him the DDD way, which is also fairly easy. I think this is the only place in the entire game that has stairs, now that I think about it. Unless there are stairs in, like, the... the insect palace land realm world. Okay, you can go back. I think the key's probably in the grass somewhere. I'm sure this is important. Uh, guess not. Oh right, you can go under here. King DDD, you don't really need to hold that above your head in two hands. You, you might even have pockets, I'm not sure. GDD, tell me about the royal pockets. This is probably mostly just gonna be these things. Because like I said, there are no sunstones. Like you've seen by now, there are no sunstones. Not even any keychains in any of these, huh? Maybe at least one of them will have that or a life. Tomatoes are good too. I could use those, considering my strategy against most things. Ah, here we are. Our good friend, Coily Rattle- Oh man, I just realized I forgot to read the boss descriptions for the last two. Oh well... I'm sure they weren't that important. This guy comes pre-activated for DDD. Oh, this looks like a boss fight time. The statuesque snake was once seen by the people of the sky as a symbol of peace. However, it's since been corrupted by an evil magic and has become a scourge on the land. That sounds fairly similar to what your thing was the first time, maybe? Didn't I have hammer against you before? Even? Like, probably as Kirby. Well, obviously as Kirby. Probably against your rematch. I remember using the hammer uppercut on your head. Please, come to the front. Where you can be smote. You can also be on fire occasionally if you prefer. Uh, ah! That was awkwardly set up. Ah, this attack. Lovely. Wonderful. Painful. Ugh. I guess I better use that. Not too much longer. 
guy is noticeably harder than the last two. In part because he doesn't make himself too vulnerable. Yeah, that one took longer. We've still got five and six to go. Hey, a relevant keychain. I guess Waddle Dee is also relevant. He's usually relevant. I feel like this should have been... Well, no, this wouldn't be the area for World 3. Because there wasn't any actual lava, it just looked like there was going to be. We're back at Endless Explosions. Which still has a lot fewer explosions than initially promised. What can I do against these? Can I do anything? Let's see. Is there anything I'm missing? Hmm. I don't... Maybe King DDD cannot actually do anything about... Hmm. I guess that would add a little bit of a twist to it. He doesn't really have any water-related things, except for when he's swimming, of course. Not too important. I guess it would have let me vaporize this boss easily. Whatever it is. It's about time for the sword guy. Nope. You're out of your element. You don't have a thing, right? Okay. You're quite literally out of your element. Hopefully we won't have to deal with too many lava blocks. But we will have to deal with this. I feel like there's gotta be something I'm missing that he can actually do against those. Like maybe... I wonder if his air puff... Nope. They are awfully in the way. There's got to be a way to get past those somehow. I don't really have any ideas, though. Hey, a wheel segment without an invincibility power. Is it possible to outrun this guy? Oh, there's the invincibility. It's just not immediately available. Barely missed it. Oh well. Just casually run right through that volcano while it's erupting. I believe this puts us at the next level. That would have been the exit if King DDD believed in the level exit. Well, here's some water. I guess he can't really even spit water or anything, though. Ah. Getting dangerously 
dead. Now actually dead. There's my first death as King DDD. Took all the way for till World 5 for it to happen. Oh, I guess another reason this is shorter that I just now thought of for some reason is that I guess the extra stages aren't present. King DDD doesn't have time for that. He's in a hurry. I'm not sure why he's in a hurry. Let's just go up. I don't think there was like a warp back there or anything. Is it about time for another mini boss? Yes. Thanks, Waddle Dee, with bandana. Oh, yes, this part. Stupid mini boss taking too long to start running. I guess I'll have to be conscious about eels and giant fish and other things. Not doing a good job of noticing the aquatic wildlife here. How does a floating cube of water even have an ecosystem? Let's be serious about this for a minute. How does that make sense? Oh yeah, a teleport pad, because those were in the game. On a few occasions. Oh right, this part. Yeah, yeah, this part. The part where the game really wants to kill you. That's this part. Why are the death walls oozing anyway? Are they oozing with the blood of their enemies, which is that color for some reason? The beige blood? That sounds like a fantasy insult. Beige blood. Alright, I'm supposed to go in the top one. Forgot again because too busy thinking about how there's a giant beige wall trying to destroy me. Oh well. Everything will work out. Do I need this bomb? Probably. Actually, no. Well, I should do it anyway. I think you can fly up and over and not use this bomb. If you want. Maybe not. Oh, hello again, beige wall. It's not even really beige, I don't think. I think it's a little bit too gray to be beige. I'm not a color expert. It's definitely bland, though. Beige is the stereotypical bland color after all.
Good, I needed that heal. We're probably getting pretty close to the end of the world by now. That was aimed way too hastily. Okay. It wasn't really important, so it's fine. Now, there might be something more important within these. Hopefully. No? Okay. There is this, though. Oh, except the key is pointless because I missed that block. Just gonna ignore the key, then. It's only a big token thing. Oh wait, there's also the bomb block down there. So I probably did miss something important. Oh well. Oh yeah, this part. Great. I love not this part. Trying to get through it too fast. Bad idea. Just know when you're safe and then go. At least we don't have to do the more annoying variant of that, which was in the extra stage, I believe. How am I supposed to... Oh, I guess I can do this. I probably could have just ignored the the block also. I don't know why I'm insisting on blowing all these up. Maybe because of this? Is this gonna be worth my t uh, hmm. Does this work? It does. How about that? I guess King DDD has some archery hidden in his hammer. Thirty-five lives. Is it time for the wall to crush us again? Yeah. Not the exact wall I was thinking of, but... <sighs> nah! That didn't work. King DDD barely fits in some of these. I needed that. Very ominous. This is the mini boss rush, isn't it? Yes. I guess they kept this part in. Um, you have a bit of a blind spot there, buddy. Thirty-six. We will have the most lives. Out of any King DDD, there's only one of them, so that's easy. Except in certain special cases, which we don't like.
I guess I could, like, dodge attacks and jump. Nope. Another one up, huh? Is that all we're gonna give out at this point? I would accept keychains. Oh look, it's that puzzle that's really easy, but it foiled me because I am silly. Do you have a different method of fighting here because there's no ceiling? I guess that counts as a ceiling. That answered my question. Oh, come on. These hammers rather large. Larger than I expected, it turns out. Video editing, here. Okay, I want to be a little bit careful here because I am almost dead. Only a little careful. That looks so much like there's a thing there, but I guess there's not. Well, there's a keychain. Wait, wasn't there a thing? Nah. What is it about the sides of mountains that's so suspicious? I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use that, I guess. This boss is annoying, so I'm sure this will be a lot of fun. King DDD, you trip at the most inopportune times. And this isn't even Smash Bros. Brawl. He quenches his thirst with boiling magma and snacks on molten lava rocks. The most unforgiving environments are comforting for pirated. That sounds like a Pokedex entry. Oh, come on. I'm gonna be here for a while, aren't I? It doesn't have openings. Not ones that are large enough for me to use effectively. Yeah, you can try to eat you too. Sigh. 
This is probably my least favorite boss in the game. It's probably fairly obvious why, too. And I'm probably gonna die during this fight and have to start at the beginning of it to... And that'll be annoying. If this fight ever goes anywhere. Yeah, yeah, phase two. Rocks from the sky, whatever. Get to the point. I guess those give you less time to study their position or something than before. Is that the challenge aspect there? Oh, they shift too, don't they? Ah, oh, come on. Hmm. Surprised I got a hit in on him with that. I don't think I can really clear those away effectively. Now you're just gonna breathe fire everywhere. Smog up the whole place. Forgot where he goes when he's doing this. Sigh! Alright, alright, alright. Get to the point again. But... Well, this is an interesting attack, I guess, at least. I don't want to die at the end. That would be awful. What? I died at the end. It's awful. Like I thought. the boss rematches aren't included in DDD's murder spree. I don't really remember. That took incredibly long just because of that guy. At least we got that thing, I, I guess. Time to invade the castle. 